Hello friends, I'm going to show how to do a uh, multiple exposure photo blend using Coral Paint Shop Pro 2018. I was very surprised how easy this was and wanted to share this uh, with you. Uh, the first thing to do is to go to file and then click on photo blend and which will open up the page that you're seeing here now and then you see a plus and a minus uh, symbol here. This is where you add all the photos that you want to use uh, in your photo blend. Uh, the picture I'm showing you right now is my uh, finished result here that I did with my friends. Uh, this, this is the steps to Central Tech High School. And um, we did this using a tripod and a wireless shutter remote which I recommend if you're going to uh, capture a number of images to blend. So I'm just going to remove this here and I'll show you the pictures one by one that we took. So this is the first one with my friend sitting on the step. Then the two of us together. So those are the photos that we blended. And I'm just going to do three three photos to blend just, just for simplicity's sake here. I'm going to get rid, of, get rid of these here. So I'm going to blend these three photos with you here. So on the left you see a brush in, a brush out, eraser. Um, I'm going to click on the first photo and I'm going to click on brush in. And with brush in is, is all the parts of the photograph that you want to save. I'm going to make the brush a little bigger. It doesn't have to be perfect uh, as long as your image is, is not blocking anything else. So, uh, if I want to remove anything from this picture, I will go to brush out. I'm actually going to try to erase this tie. Brush out this tie. And then I'm going to go on to the second image here. So you can see on the second image, uh, in red, that space has been occupied that we cannot uh, use this space because it's going to be used for um, the first photograph and uh, you can see the space where the tie is is taken away so I'm going to go back to brushing Take, I'm going to take off one of my legs here, brush out. Take off my arm. And brush in. Save me. If I don't brush in these people going up the steps, what's going to happen is, is they're going to blend with the three photos and, and they're not going to be full strength. So it's going to, they're going to look like a ghost image, which, you know, if you're going for that effect, um, I mean, otherwise you might want to completely brush them out uh, or, or brush them in. I'll brush them out here so that they will disappear. Now as, as you're working with your images, you see on the, on the left you have show brush strokes and you have preview alignment. Uh, you can get rid of the brush strokes here and click on preview alignment and I can uh, see how things are going here. 
So this is what it will look like now. You can see it's blended already with the third image. And uh, we are, these two images are uh, slightly faded because they're not full strength. Um, you can see I've got my arm off and my, my leg off here. Um, so let's go to the third image here. Get rid of the preview alignment there. So brushing the last ones here. leave his head off so his head won't be full strength here. Brush it in here. Alright, so preview alignment. So there's our preview. Um, and when you're happy with everything that, that you've done, that's interesting. Just clicked on one of these here. So when you're happy with everything that you've done, you hit the process button on the, on the bottom left. And there's your photo. You can, you can do more work on it, or you can just save it as it is. And um, 